hello everyone i hope you are doing well so i was busy doing some stuff and meanwhile call of duty just dropped a huge update and it just pushed fsr 3 to the platform and also along with the frame generation so let me check it out for let me check this in how my gtx 1660 super performed before you haven't seen uh, the video i have just made about the optimized setting that was recorded before this update dropped so you can check it out link will be in the description down below or you can uh, find it up where somewhere here anyway uh, let me show you what setting i am currently playing at so to the graphical quality setting and of course the fov is set to uh, the maximum i played it i think it's uh, 120 and uh, these are the setting uh, just quick peek this is the same setting that i just just uh, tested before this update and these are the optimized setting uh, that was actually optimized before this update so i don't know what's uh, what works good if uh, after this update i can see and even after this update uh, I got a huge hit on my FPS. I'm getting about uh, like uh, 90 or something uh, at like long distance. Uh, this drops a lot. So let me check it out from here. So you can check it. So let me check this for my up to my hours sighting. Then I will be going for uh, the FSR quality preset and then I will be also testing some kind of frame generation as well. So although i don't think so frame generation is feasible for this game this type of game i think the reason is uh first is actually does not include uh, does not increase the response so it does not increase any kind of responsive responsiveness to the game so in fact it uh, contributes the average pc latency so that is really awkward thing anyway so let's check it out uh, these are my settings uh, let me mention one thing without recording i'm also recording on obs so without recording i do get like a couple of more fps like 5 to 10 more fps so you can also my fr average frame is 84 before this update dropped i was getting like 90 plus fps while recording and 100 plus fps while i'm not recording so before i think that was much good uh, after that i don't know i'm using the same uh, specifications as before so there is something happened behind the scene or they pushed who knows but uh, performances was uh, although i'm not in any kind of fight so it might get a little bit worse also frame time is i can uh like i can notice there is some spikes in the frame time although in the pre uh, previously it had no such kind of spikes so i'm traversing around we will be checking some frame generation and uh, fsr preset so let me go let's camp over here and let me check the uh, let me enable uh, the fsr fsr3 of course and i'm going it for the native first okay apply settings okay it uh, reset that uh, let me check the frame generation is off or on let me check yeah it's it was on let me toggle it off so let us reset it and this is the native fsr3 and uh, the frame times are a little bit worse and the clarity i think is same as fidelity fx cost i have to set to 100 so fsr native Anyway, so let's enable. Sorry, not that one. Frame generation at the native FSR. Before we get getting about the 60 something FPS. Okay, also you can see uh, there is some. Okay, now it's getting stabilized. Frame time is getting stabilized now. Let me tell you one more thing, and that is really important. Once, uh, like when we use 
frame generation, it does not contribute to the responsiveness of the game. And the reason is, uh, it does not, uh, it does not increase the FPS which are generated by the game engine. It just generates fake FPS with the power of a GPU. So okay, uh, for the FPS, I'm getting an average 101 FPS with the frame generation, but I will never play on these FPS. And the reason is, and the simple reason is, it actually uh, less responsive than the optimized setting I usually use so you haven't seen a video about that you can check it out in the description down below okay okay nice okay let's go and check out frame generation to the quality preset and so now we are using the fsr3 quality preset and we are we are not using any kind of frame generation so we will be enabling the frame generation to check it out at the quality preset of fsr so it's a little bit more smoother and the reason is we are downscale like upscaling not downscaling so we are upscaling don't judge me i'm a really terrible player in call of duty so but uh i can see the as i do play a uh, game at fidelity fx cost at 100 percent so i can uh, see it's less sharp on overall okay i was checking that uh did i like if i'm using any kind of nvidia filters no i'm not using any kind of nvidia filters i do do not use often because uh i personally play at the fidelity fs cost at 100 percent so there is no need what is that oh yeah that was a laser <laughs> okay so we'll be enabling the fsr3 frame generation but don't make, get me wrong uh the fsr3 is kind of good but frame generation is not usable it can it can be usable if we are playing story mode or uh, it is very very helpful to play story games like if i had to play uh last, last of us part one or cyberpunk then i will definitely use frame generation so it will smooth out a little bit my gameplay and also so it giving me 100 plus fps at the quality preset let's go and enable the frame generation from here amd frame generation so apply counter and let's get this a little bit stable somewhere okay fps are through the roof bro i don't like this kind of jaggy edges around the weapons and crates uh the it happens with the fsr so i totally don't like this okay let's check it out average frames are 155 they're really nice but I will never play with in like this and the simple reason is it actually decreases the responsiveness of the game of course we do get a little bit more fps but responsiveness goes down as like if you are getting let's suppose two frames with the frame generation we do get four frames it doubles the frames but by generating fake frame so you can see it's about 150 plus fps all the time with frame generation but let's check it out with the fsr okay let's go with fsr balanced and also let's toggle this off frame generation from for now and let's reset this and for the balance preset uh, the people who had an 4 gp of the vram like uh, for example gtx 16 sorry 60 50 super so 1650 super so in that case i think balance preset will be really good to get a like smooth frame rates and uh, and also they can like uh, uh, dial down textures or something so um, I, I think i'm playing with the normal textures and my vram usage is 500 plus 
uh, like 505 gigabytes like i was talking about that jaggy edges the fsr uh, with the fsr so i don't like these so i that's why i don't use the fsr upscaler anyway so let's go there and you give him 100 and something i don't think so we got a much of fps gain by dialing down from quality preset to balance preset but i think uh, uh, the specifically the frame time graph is get a lot more smoother in the balance preset but let's check it out okay we are on the open no problem let's go and enable the fsr free fsr3 frame generation with balance preset okay something happened i think game is crashed probably yep game is crashed don't know why bro okay let's check Le let's restart this okay we have restarted the game and let's check it out again in the planner quads and we are still at the amd fsr balance and frame gen is off by the way and i can see at the menu blurry it's very blurry but the people who are using 14 gigs of vram gpus like 60 1650 super or rx 584 gb or rx 574 gb so they can go with the balance preset or something but i have to say after this update this game is more worse than it was before so previously i was getting a really good fps really really good fps uh with my up to my setting if you haven't checked that yet to check it out in the description down below so for now uh, i am going to test out frame generation at the balance preset and also will be i will be testing at performance and ultra performance preset so okay let's get into the match balance preset and all we are testing out the frame generation over here game with the fsr3 frame gen is not smooth as we expect do expect with the similar frames generated by the game engine but let's go over here i'm getting about 164 uh, average fps and let's to check it out at the let's turn off the frame gen let's apply it and let's go for the performance fsr3 this is the performance fsr3 okay i am getting about 100 there is not much scaling why and my gpu usage is 99 percent so there is no such kind of any okay we are not using any kind of frame gen now and we are getting about 109 fps hovering over here and let's go And we are at the performance preset. Let's enable. What was that? Okay, let's enable the frame gen. There is no point to enable the frame gen with the performance preset. For the benchmark purpose, we are using it what the fuck i'm beaming that guy oh nice oh nice what a shot and we are getting about 168 frame per, per second with this and uh, let me go back and use ultra performance preset let's turn it off full plight so i'm trying to avoid some crashes if these are happening with we are officially playing at ultra performance fsr3 <laughs> i think there is no point playing at that just a sake of benchmarking i'm just testing it out although i think ultra performance and the performance uh, preset look kind of same there is not much of difference that was the same guy yep he got me average 109 fps the same fps before we get we were getting before and let's go back and enable okay no yes it's locked i think we cannot enable the frame generation with fsr ultra performance although okay the best settings i like to play at it is fidelity fx cost and that i say set it to 100 percent and the rest of the setting that I, I do use up to my setting and the clarity bro that looks so 
clear to me and for the sake of fps i do get uh, i'm like getting about the okay let's reset this from here okay i'm getting 90 fps average and i will be getting 8 or 10 fps more when i will not recording so i do think these are the best setting and also the frame time is a little bit smoother and clarity is really nice and also i think uh, fsr3 will help those guys who like we're getting really worse performance like uh, about uh, they're not getting some some kind of 60 fps or something but they, i think the quality preset is kind of okay but like performance and balance setting is really is not worth it and also the frame generation is totally not worth it in this game unless you are playing the story mode so you are like like you are playing the campaign when you are playing the campaign then it's really cool to have some extra frames like of course, like someone is getting 40 FPS and enable the frame generation, uh, the game will be a little bit more smoother. But in the multiplayer or in Warzone, Plunder or something, uh, frame generation is not worth it at all. So this is the reason uh, it do not increase, do not increase the responsiveness in the game. It do increase. In fact, it decreases this responsiveness. Do let me know what you think about this and the specifically for this FSR 3 update. I do think the, for the optimized setting we were using before uh, at that we are getting a little bit less performance as we are getting now. But uh, do let me know what you think about this FSR 3 especially for the frame gen. Do let me know what you think about it in the uh, comment down below and if you're looking for the, some kind of optimized setting do check it out the video in the, the description down below and we will be meeting in some other video. Till that bye.